Knight, the command center rather than fight this army right now, which it got pretty low, but it looks like they are going to be able to save it. So, uh, Red saying thanks a lot. Apparently, uh, he was in some serious trouble there unless he got help from his blue ally. Um, but meanwhile, back at our base, as you can see here, we've got Hydralis Tech uh, and starting to get the Evolution Chamber so that we can get upgrades. And uh, I would like to point out, you'll notice that I have a lot of excess minerals and gas right now. Uh, the reason that that is, is because my game kept freezing during this uh, during this matchup, and 13 can attest to how frustrated I was because he was actually sitting at my desk across the across the desk from me. We were playing in the same room for this game, and uh, the game froze up on me on multiple occasions and just would not let me control everything. However, the game was still moving, and 13 was able to play, and our enemies were able to play, but I basically just had to stick to attack moving my units for the most part. And uh, as you can see, there are large chunks of time where I wasn't able to spend any resources at all for some reason. So uh, anyways, just wanted to make a quick note of that so you guys don't call me a noob for not staying on top of my resources. I promise I was trying to do everything I could. Um, but anyways, 13, at this point it looks like you have gotten your expo up and running. You've got a pretty solid Zealot Stalker mix. Um, and right now you've got another gateway going up and you're starting to get some Phoenix here. So uh, what exactly are you going to be using these Phoenix for? Well, I want no part of the Immortals that the Blue Protoss has right now. You know, those absolutely dominate my Stalker army. So that's why I'm going going to build those Phoenix. I'm hoping I can use that Graviton Bean and then pick them off with my Stalkers. Uh, we'll see if it's effective here in a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Or even just using that Graviton Beam to keep those Immortals out of play for a short period of time while you take on the rest of the army is an absolutely great tactic. I've seen a lot of players use uh, that Graviton Beam for a number of different uses. Of course, Noni uh, making it very popular for using it for not only Mutalisk hits, but also taking out workers because you can basically pick off little groups of workers at a time. And while they are trying to move their units in position to defend against that, um, you can actually take out a significant amount of workers if you have just a handful of Phoenix. So, uh, but able to use that tactic also to lift up key units like Immortals and such so that basically you can tilt the, the tide of the battle in your favor. Because like you said, those Immortals are very, very strong against both Zealots and Stalkers. So being able to take those Immortals out of play for a small period of time while you focus on the rest of the army is a huge advantage. Yeah, definitely. It's almost like just a, you know, a temporary stasis field. <laughs> it targets one unit, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like he is continuing to stick with this Immortal build. Uh, taking a look at the unit's overlay here, we can see that he already has three, and as we know, there's one more finishing up right now in the Robox facility. But he also has 15 Stalkers and six Zealots. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like you have a much larger army overall. Of course, as you mentioned, those Immortals very strong against your army composition right now. So getting those Phoenix out in order to deal with that. And of course, I am going with the... Uh, it looks like they're saying, go Zerg. So a <laughs> Apparently they want me out of this game right now, and there is a decent amount of units from the Protoss and Terran players that we are facing off against right now. And as you can see there, there's my statement of frustration. My comp keeps locking up. Um, so unfortunately, I am in bad, bad shape, and I've got a decent amount of Zerglings and Hydralists, but that is definitely not enough to take on both of these armies by myself. I'm going to need your help this time, 13. Yeah, and of course, because you still do have control of those two Zelnaga Watchtowers, we do know exactly what they're doing, and I'm looks like I'm going to come in the rear here, in the rear with the gear to take them out. <laughs> you are indeed moving into position here, and the Zerglings come up here, uh, trying to get us around on the Stalkers and able to take out a good number of the Stalkers, but unfortunately there are so many Terran infantry, and as you can see right there, using that or that uh, Graviton Beam to lift off those Immortals, taking them out of play for the time being, but those Siege Tanks in the back line are proving to be very effective for this attack. And Meanwhile, we have whittled down a decent amount of this army, but unfortunately both of our armies have been completely decimated. So right now, I am in very bad shape as they are going to be taking down my expansion rather quickly, it seems. Yeah, you're going to use a, lose a huge bit of production capability there. I just didn't have enough to take out those Siege Tanks. If I would have had maybe a couple more Phoenix, I could have Gravitoned them all up there and taken out the rest of their army. That definitely would have been helpful. I also got to say that I think part of it is due to the fact that I could not uh, macro up well enough because of how laggy my computer was acting. So that was very unfortunate for us as well. But um, as you can see, I've still got a lot of minerals and gas there and unable to really micro my units properly. And these siege tanks just blowing away at all of my stuff. And it looks like you got some zealot charged legs moving up in here trying to take down these siege tanks. One of them goes down and it looks like you did manage to get the second one as well. But there are too many infantry units here. Your zealots get taken down by those immediately. 
Yeah, I, I know I, the, the trade wasn't even, but getting rid of those siege tanks is so critical to, to the army composition that both of us have right now. So I just wanted to get rid of those, so hopefully we could take out the rest of that stuff. Yeah, and as we can see here, there are a lot of Terran units moving across the, the map here. Just basically Marines and siege tanks uh, coming up here to supplement the Marauders, a Medivac, and one Raven that are hanging out in front of my base. And there are some more Stalkers and uh, Immortals moving into place here as well. So once again, it looks like I'm going to be in a very rough position here unless you can get some significant help up to me because um, I have been basically relegated to only having one hatchery here that I'm trying to produce as many units out as possible. Of course, using the extra larva from the Queen Spawn Larva ability. Um, but at this point, it looks like for whatever reason, they are not going to move out just yet. Although the Marines are starting to move off the ramp a little bit, they apparently decide to back off. And these siege tanks are going to take down this lone extractor um, as you move your units into position here, waiting for the right moment to attack. And of course, we want to catch them on this ramp so that they can get, um, so we can basically try to get as much of a trap on them as possible. Although, uh, unfortunately, we still both have a very small number of units. And I'm now tech switching to Mutalists. Got a couple spine crawlers up here to help with defending. Um, and it looks like one immortal in the front going to go down right away. And these are trying to get some hits along with the Hydralists and Mutalists on these ranged units, but unfortunately all of these ranged units are actually very strong against the Mutalists that I brought up, although the Stalkers blinking out of play, so it looks like these Mutalists are going to get some free shots in before they're taken down, uh, and more Mutalists coming into play now, although unfortunately I've only got four of them, and there are definitely enough Stalkers to deal with that, although it looks like they were focus firing down the Nidus Network and the Spine Crawler, um, and actually going for the Spire as well, so no more Mutas for me after these uh, next five that just popped out here. So, uh, but at the same time, we have managed to stem the loss of units for the time being, it looks like, even having to get the drones in the fight here. <laughs> but uh, everything finally has been taken down, and they are retreating with their last few remaining units. One immortal, only four hit points and a few shields as they're starting to regenerate, moving away. And apparently I did not notice that because my mutalists are going after these tanks and not that immortal. And when you look at the income tab, you can just see how effective that attack was, you know, against against you, your income is very low right now. Yeah, absolutely. As uh, as we saw earlier, that expansion allowed me to get a jump on the income, but unfortunately my main is pretty much mined out now. But uh, like I mentioned, since I cannot macro up very well because my computer was freezing up a lot this game, I do have plenty of resources to mess with right now, at least as far as minerals go. So uh, basically I am going to try to get some expansions here very quickly while we have a small lull while uh, both players on the other team are trying to macro up and Red actually trying to get his own expansion up and running right now. He did not actually expand until about halfway through that last attack so he was behind significantly in the income tab um, but basically going back to 13's base 13 it looks like you have done a little bit of a tech switch yourself going to Colossus yeah this is something that I like to do when I feel like my back's against the wall a little bit you know they obviously have the advantage you're, you're, you're you know one basing at this point your income's zero at this point so what I like to do is just switch things up you know I don't really have much to lose there and, and see if I can catch them off guard with a different bit of tech yeah, absolutely, and you have already researched the Thermal Lance upgrade, so you will have that extended range for the Colossus, and with these Zealots up in front to tank, that ranged Colossi um, are going to be able to do a lot of damage, it looks like, because they do not have any air units as of right now, So, um, but 